everybody. Hi everybody. We've got a little project on today. This has died. These were our where we stored our canes. And they've lasted a few years, but what they was, there was a wine rack that we got from a skip dive that we split up and screwed on here. Now, as you can see, it's finally given up. It wasn't really outside rated. So we're going to make some replacements. We'll show you what our way of making replacements for these. I mentioned the other day that one of our skip diving projects uh, died the other day. The, uh, the cane stand, and I said I was going to make a cane stand. Well, I've got the material for it now. And this is a plastic, plastic material that they use for doing replacing barge boards on a house. So I've got two pieces, one for top, one for bottom. I've marked a few centre lines out on, on it. I'm going to, with the drill, drill a oh, big hole there, a big hole there, 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 there and there, and at those points as well. I'm obviously going to move this down when I come to drill here because I don't want to drill through the table. And then I'm going to cut it out with a jigsaw so it's not a precise thing this so we'll just get away now the thing you might want to consider is when you're drilling plastic don't want it on hammer when you're drilling plastic sometimes you have to go slow because not because it's tough but because sometimes it melts if it melts it clogs up your tools so you got you go a bit slower for it I don't know whether this plastic will melt or not, so we'll try it first and see. Stop the tip. That's the first bit out. And now that'll be a bit difficult to get out of there so <coughs> <coughs> I'll get it out with my trusty multi-tool Yeah, that's going to be a little bit difficult to get out so this is going to make this a little more messy so I might have to take this apart to get it out <coughs> one plug it out so I'll continue on with this. It's obviously going to be a little messy in terms of getting all these bits of uh, bits out, but there's a reason for doing this with a hole saw. And one of the reasons is that But you don't want to leave sharp corners in holes because it leaves a high stress point where things can cr start cracks can progress from. There's a second one. We might just get that out without having to take the hole saw apart, though I don't think so. Right. I'm going to turn the camera off now. I don't think you want to sit there and watch me drill holes and do this all the time. We want this constructive video. So I'll come back when we've done some more of this. Well, as you can see now, I've drilled the six holes on one side. I've repositioned it so I'm not drilling through the desk. And I'm going to continue on to do the holes on this side now. It's taken not very long. To we 
we'll, we'll carry on with that and I've developed a, uh, a method of getting the plugs out which involves taking it apart but it doesn't take too long and hopefully it'll be a nice neat job when it's done. Right, final hole, here it is, halfway through. What I've found is this material doesn't want doesn't melt so I can cut faster so I've turned my drill speed up and that's given me another advantage it cuts a little bit smoother and it does mean that I can lever these things out of the tool with just bitting an allen key in there and just lever it out an allen key a bent bit of metal so we'll get onto that now get that last one done As you can see that's coming out a lot easier now so if you decide to make anything out of this material we've all learnt something. Now the next bit is just to cut the sections out. Now I use this to cut the board and I cut it on quite slow and I've turned the speed up now because of it I've not put any lines on to align where I'm cutting, but what I have got is I've got a laser on this, so hopefully I should be able to get that aligned. One cut. Now, I know. just tidy these bits up when I've moved the clamps and have my back As you can see, I'm going to have three large cavities for the canes. Mount one of these top on the top of our structure we have on our plot for for carrying our water tank, and one on the bottom. And we're back to being able to have our canes tidy. One other little thing I will do: I will cut each of these outside corners here with a radius on it. That's not to be poncy. That's just to make sure that when I'm reaching around I don't cut myself on some sharp corners which is the last thing you want isn't it so I'll carry on and finish this off I will also drill three holes along here just to mount it uh, and that'll be done now this material again you can buy it actually I'm just using off cuts from when my house was done uh, the reason for using it is, well it stays up on your house for 20 odd years and doesn't rot, so I won't have, hopefully I won't have to remake it unless it breaks for some other reason. So I hope that's been of some interest to you. I'll show you it when it's in situ. Bye. Right. 
There we are. Complete. Ready to go. Three holes drilled in it. Three nice slots. A little on the rough side. So, use this little tool. And this is one we use on the plot actually. And I'll just finish that off and then get any more sharp edges off that might catch myself on. I can even now take the protective covering off it so all my very rough marking outlines can come off. Because you're not supposed to leave this covering on when the stuff's outside anyway because it, uh, it reacts badly with sunlight. But. And that will replace our repurposed skip dived wine rack that we, we had, which has lasted for three years, but we want this to last for a lot longer than three years now. Don't don't like doing work twice. So Right, here we are. Removing the remnants of that uh, wine rack that uh, has served us for three years or so. Get rid of that. And we'll start mounting these on here. Right, there we are, all screwed on top and bottom, and let's get some uh, some canes in it and get the plate. And there we are, tidy again. I hope that gives you some ideas. You don't have to mount it on something like this. You can mount it on many things, but you can maybe even make it a complete freestanding structure. But that helps keep your place tidy. Mm -hmm. 